Yo, what is up, guys? Today, we got a crazy gameplay for you. 30 plus kills. And I'm going to be breaking down this gameplay. You can call it a nuke or whatever in a 1.18 KD lobby. So this lobby, by any means, wasn't easy. And by the way, uh, I had no deaths. So I'm going to be breaking down the gameplay, giving you guys tips, giving you guys some more insight of why I performed so well and what I did right. So off the rip, I'm going to be hit firing this auto. And this is something so small, but hit firing allows you to move at a quicker speed. So if I aim in, I become very stiff. I have no movement. But when I start hit firing, it allows me to maneuver a little bit quicker. See here, I'm hit firing again. You can see another. I know there's two guys. They're holding each other's hands. I'm hit firing as I'm strafing to the left and getting behind cover, which is going to allow me to knock the guy, be able to escape from the second guy just in time. And this guy's going to run out of ammo. I'm going to start pre-firing. He strafes away to stay alive. And I get the finish on this kill. Already a good start for me. Hit firing is like very underrated. At times, we just don't want to hit fire. But you guys got to understand, hit firing can be very effective. Also depends on the gun. For example, like the auto, that ground low, you can see the hit fire is actually pretty pretty good so therefore i decided to hit fire obviously there's guns that hit fires are horrible and you don't want to do that it's something to keep in mind when you hit fire you can strafe quicker when you aim in you're kind of stuck in the mud and it can get you killed so i'm going to see these two guys in my radar i'm going to immediately slide here left and challenge him now this is something super small and i'm sure a lot of you guys do this i know there's two guys nearby i have one in my line of sight something i like to do is use cover to your advantage so i'm putting myself in a, in a line of sight in a position where i can shoot this guy but the other guy can't really see me and if he starts to see me and shoot at me i can straight to the right and get even more cover so i played in a way where this second guy if he decides to challenge me he can't um right here it's, i'm just you know team shotting getting my kills joint that's fine there's so many people near me you can see uh usually in the higher kd lobbies it gets very hectic a lot of people you see my radar right now people everywhere people coming in from down low guys still in headquarters i decided to prioritize my plates because the whole team is about to push me and get in my face so i decided to prioritize my plates here versus resing this guy right away or even tapping him because he had a self-res prioritize the plates get my reload off therefore i'm ready for action you know I could res them, but then I'm probably dead, you know? So I see this guy coming up, gonna hit a nice preem, get the kill, I'll pop a priest in here for some extra movement speed, spot his footsteps there for a second, and realize he's inside. Very quick decision making, very just on point. You see right here, his footsteps are obviously kind of lead to the bathroom, so I'm gonna check it out spot him hit a nice little slight cancel in instead of finish so these are little things you know at a high level or when you play really well that you're just constantly just on point looking at mini map looking at little things people sometimes wonder like are these pro players are these top players hacking you know how do they know a lot of these things um uh, this is another nice little technique i like to do so coming from the staircase and you know fighting this high ground from the low like they always say high ground is op well it is you're coming through a stairwell he can be in various corners so something i've really got a good about like the past couple months when i've really Realize this is doing that jump spot is super effective you clear out your left he's not your left he looks your right they don't expect it you have high ground versus high ground so this becomes a free kill for me uh just doing this jump i spot two more coming in one's in headquarters one's down low so i'm gonna go help mccall he gets the kill Hyler pings behind me kind of looking for him i was ready with the kg to beam him but you can see like the fastest decision making good gun skill just on point so right here uh bounty is obviously someone shooting at my teammate i'm gonna help my teammate this guy's gonna hit a crazy movement but i'm not gonna panic make sure i you know i stay on on point with my enemy there's one to my right which you see the ping i'm gonna reach out this right away so right here uh i was ready for this reach out you can see how i pull out my ar into the gunfight so i kill this guy i spot this guy right here instead of jumping back right away challenging with the hp four blixen it's probably not a good idea so i'm gonna instantly go for this chow this guy seemed to have ran away right he's not peeking anymore if he was still here i probably would have chowed him and i probably would have died because this guy would have killed me but i decide to immediately disengage and go for this guy and the kg is actually pretty damn strong um it got buffed so it gets the job done uh, i see the second guy pinging so he probably ran away which is looking he's down low meaning he probably went down to the basement over here to showers so first of all the h4 blixen has a really good strafe which is nice we both slight cancel so movement like at the highest level it's like kind of countering each other's movement so the stim immediately is going to give me a speed boost he's going to slide directly towards me to challenge me i'm gonna slide a little bit to the left and then challenge him and then strafe back to the right so kind of juking his aim a little bit and then straight back to the left and the straight build is really good you see he only hits me once because i hit a really good movement on him and ace four blix and ttk is really strong so i'm gonna take him out immediately as soon as he dies i see two ping down low but they're really close so that's kind of my next threat so i'm gonna immediately be like oh this guy's about to come in and as soon as I go to like slight cancel the staircase and like challenge it and pre-fire, he comes up, which is like a crazy camera, right? He comes up. He's like, oh, I'm going to shoot this guy. Next second, I'm slight canceling past him. And now he has to re-center on me. 
So he's going to have to refocus on me. I'm going to get the kill. This guy's going to come for the challenge, but the H4 Blixen has a crazy strafe and it just hits like a truck. I think he only had like two plates on and I kill both of them. Just a nice, clean, on point, good gun skill, good awareness, good movement. And it allows me to get out on top. Like I said, these players are pretty good and they're all solid for the most part. So right here, what you're going to see is I'm going to get this free pick here and I'm getting high alerted. I'm going to try to ego chow this, but the H4 Blixen is not an AR or sniper. So I'm going to reach out. Let's realize, oh, snap. I'm in danger. I'm probably dead here. I'm going to disengage. And at the highest level, some of the best players in the world, something they do really effectively, people tell me, app, what's the difference between a 3KD and a 5KD? Disengage, repositions, and puts himself in a better situation. So right here, it's like a weird situation. I know I have no plates, but this guy, you know, I come around this corner. This guy's just sitting around this corner. This guy's sitting around the corner. Luckily, they both had no plates. So I decided to commit to the challenge and I'm just really confident with this H4 Blixen right now. But you're going to see me get those two free kills. I'm just going to play it up, you know, regain, recompose. So right now I'm doing really well. High alert's honestly been saving my butt a little bit. I mean, it's just been helping me stay even more on point. So right away, I'm going to kill this guy. I know there's another guy nearby, but I decided to get greedy and go for the full. This is kind of a noob mistake for me. Like, I wouldn't always recommend going for this full. I would rather, you know, pay attention to the second guy. And if he runs away or I kill him, then go for this guy. But you're going to see this. I'm going to instantly go in immediately. So as soon as I come in, I'm immediately swinging out. And then I hit a slight cancel out until until a strafe with the Blixen. And I try to aim for high for the head, torso shots for the multiplier. And it's going to allow me to smoke that kid. You got to understand when to ego chow. Obviously, sometimes it's going to hurt you. I'm going to slide across here. I'm going to go back, come out with the AR, try to pick this guy. But he decides not to peek me. So right here, I'm kind of being patient. I usually don't do this often, but I'm having a good game. I'm going to strafe out the Blixen. Easy kill. Ping right above me. So I know I have time to play it up. So right here, I'm obviously, I know he's somewhere here. I'm going to stim out. Um, I'm going to see the footsteps lingering from the, I think I spot him there. I might've saw something. And then I see the tracker footsteps right here. So I know and he comes out. Now this movement snaking or like proning down is like very strong. Pro players do it all the time. I used to abuse this in the, in the pro league. Um, but like, I'm going to immediately lay down and again, quick on my decision-making lay down, swap up kind of fast. And then it's going to be an easy kill. He can't really do much here. It's a very strong camera or like a call, like to call it peekers advantage for the people who don't understand what cameraing means. And it's just easy. It's just easy. You know, it's very hard to win that gunfight in his position. Another thing I would say players at a high level do, and you need to get better at is not being still when you're shooting. And, and I say this about one to hit better shots and two, to make yourself a harder target. So you can see one, I swap and I slide and I start crouching. I go up, crouch down, crouch up, jump shot. And you're seeing you're, you're seeing I'm making all these little movements to make myself a harder target. You can see the shots were good and the movement was good to make myself a slightly harder target. And then, you know, I just took care of business. There's all, obviously a lot of people here. I'm going to slide. Something I really like doing is I like sliding into gunfights because I feel like I have I usually have the advantage because people don't expect it. Um, but, you know, I'm just like trying to find people around here. Going to throw a knife him. He's going to immediately pop up. I didn't want to kill him because I wanted his teammates to come back, but I think he was the final guy. Oh, he wasn't. His teammate came back in time. This guy's going to challenge me immediately. You see, I'm going to priest him. And this is just easy. He stayed no chance. He's going to see me go left. And then I'm going to immediately slide right and just be in his face. Yeah, I didn't even slide left. I just sprinted left because the fast movement speed. And I'm going to slide right. And the thing about the Blixen 2 is it has a good headshot multiplier. And when you're up close, it's definitely easier to hit those headshots. So you're going to see me aiming kind of high, to like high neck to head. And it's just going to, I'm going to knock him so fast and just get the kill. It's just easy, man. I see this guy getting pinged from my teammates. Going to come around the corner and kill him. So people are calling me cheaters in this game, which is kind of funny. Uh, I see this guy. Uh, I'm just stimming, chasing his little sweat. And um, he makes a good play here, honestly. <laughs> he ba he backmantled. <laughs> um, that's the worst, man. I'm sure you guys hate when you auto mantle the backwards. Not the guy up top. I think he has a self. I decided to buy a streak to uh, really get him out the tower. I do this pretty often. Get the streak. Try to get these guys out of here. A lot of times they're going to jump off. I think this guy, oh, he was just still knocked. Easy kill. I see the guy coming in from the ping. He's flying in. And I saw another guy to my left. I think I ended up spotting him. Yeah, spot him down here. So I'm just going to go for the kill. Sometimes I like to make it flashy, but... 
you know, that gets me killed. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just make it clean. Let's just get the kill. Let me not like troll this guy. At this point, 33 kills. Didn't die once. I think that's like a nuke. Definitely, you know, in a 1.18 KD lobby. Really, really good gameplay. It was just on point. I was definitely focused and going pretty hard. And uh, my team got the last kill. 33 kills, 12K damage. Just frying. Well, guys, that's it for today's breakdown. Giving you guys some tips, some more insight into the pro gameplay. I was a professional Call of Duty player for 10 years. I've been playing a lot of Warzone, including Rebirth. Definitely been frying i usually get the higher and harder kd lobbies and compared to some people hope you guys really enjoyed this definitely haven't really done many of these but you guys seem to love it so if you did make sure to like comment down below and let me know you liked it or other stuff you think i could have done better and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next video peace